Gonna make a couple changes after um, going out to the track this past weekend. Um, number one, I'm gonna change the wastegate springs, lighter springs, so we can run a little bit less boost. Going down the track, it started ramping up down about five, six thousand RPM in third gear. It started building more boost than it was supposed to. So we're going to lighten the spring on that and see if we can get a baseline for uh, wastegate spring pressure. Also, the blow-off valve. That cam doesn't create enough vacuum to open that blow-off valve, and that's creating a pressure spike whenever I let off the throttle. So we're going to change that front suspension. We're going to put 50-pound uh, 50, 50 heavier springs on the front to keep that front end up a little bit. As you notice, whenever it leaves, it jumps real quick. Now that's because those springs are too light. I can't control that. So we're going to get to where the ride height is stable so it's not popping up real quick and um what else are we doing let's see the phytech unit the throttle the primary throttle shaft was actually bent you notice uh, the third pass the idle over on the line is really high it's because of the uh the blades the butterfly blades uh they're getting stuck in the in the throttle body. And that's because the uh, the primary rod was bent. Um, so I had to put a stop on the back of the pedal because it's a uh, there's a solid link to the uh, to the throttle body from the pedal. So I mean, if I'm standing on it, I mean I'm pulling all that on the uh, on the on the shaft itself. So there's nothing protecting it from you know me putting my whopping 135 pounds on it. Um, See, besides that, I uh, put a flat of positive preload on the rear end to keep it uh, straight because it was steering to the right. Um, I've got a new dual Phantom uh, fuel pump. It's two 340 liters an hour uh, pumps going in that. That'll give me enough fuel for 1600 horsepower. So that'll be enough fuel for this motor for now because the limit I'm running is uh, 1500 um, and uh, the limit for the Phytech right now with those injectors is 1200 horse. I don't know uh, how easy that's going to be to get to. Um, also went ahead and got a pail of M1 methanol so we can run 100% methanol. Before we were running the windshield wiper fluid which is about 30% methanol and 70% uh, water. Uh, the other deal figured out with Phytech stuff was um, I had it in my head that if I said in the Phytech software that the injectors were larger than they really are, that it would add more fuel, which it was not doing. It was actually adding less fuel because it thought there was a bigger injector there. So the pulse width on it was shorter instead of longer. So I changed that to the 80 pound injectors that's actually in there. And I'm going to start tuning it with the um, volumetric efficiency tables instead of trying to let it compensate for itself because it's not it's not doing what it needs to be doing. Partially because I told it the wrong information. It's doing the best it can with the information it has. But I got a little information on that and uh, figure out the correct way to be tuning this thing. Um, so I think those are all the changes that are made going out uh, before we go out this next time. Um, we're going to continue working on getting the 60 foot time down. The last pass was, uh, was a 1 2, let me this. One, two, eight, sixty foot. Went from uh, first one was a one was a one five sixty foot. Second one was a one three sixty foot. Third one was a one two sixty foot. So we're kind of slowly getting that sixty foot time down, and that was a lot with the uh, separation in the rear slowing that event down, so that uh, you know it could be a controlled leave. And if we can get the higher spring pressure on the front, so uh, it won't pop up as quick, because we don't have the, you know, the sagging issue where the, the shock has to take all that. Whenever it wants to pop up, um, we'll have that spring that's actually set at the right height, so it won't want to pop up, and that'll slow the travel. 
<clears throat> the uh, the shot can actually do its job and slow the the upward travel. We'll see how that that helps out and keep that from shifting so quick and have the front end sit a little bit higher so we can have some of that weight sitting on the back tires already instead of having to shift you know really quickly. Which I think that caused a lot of the. If you watch it, you can see when we leave. You know, it separates, you've got the tire planting on the ground, and then it kind of bounces, and we lose traction sometimes, and that does a little hop in the back end. I think that has to do with the front end popping up so fast and upsetting the car. So the springs, I think, should help that out. The, uh, the uh, getting the Fitec deal tuned correctly is going to help us launch. So I think this next time we're gonna try and go out to Commerce, which is the regular quarter mile track and see what it'll do in a quarter mile. But uh, that's pretty much the changes going into the, this next time out.